Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. You might notice here today I've got the uh, diesel readout box tore apart for the GNL. I'm working on trying to fix the problem that it's had for as long as I got it back operational. The uh, connector on the circuit board that feeds the display is come unsoldered and it vibrates and falls loose and you lose the screen and you have to pull the lid off and stick it back in again in order to get the screen to come back on. So I decided to take it apart and try and solder that connection back and hopefully fix that. However, of course, nothing's ever as easy as it seems. Uh, the card that the connection on must be the first piece they put in this. I've taken all the screws out all the way around the sides this face plate is what holds it in, but the screws for it come through from the back side so you can't access them. So I'm going to try and feed this stuff out through the hole in the back and get this pulled out too. But I wanted to get some film on the uh, wires and stuff before I start yanking them loose so I know where to put them all back. I'll use the video for that. So let me get you over here and we'll take a look where it's at right now. You can see the circuit boards laying there, that's the filter plate. We got the CRT taken loose. I'm hoping I can get it out the back. I don't know that to be the case, but maybe it'll come out of there. I may have to unplug it and lift it up out, looks like. But this here's the problem. So I need to be able to get that out to work on it. And it won't come loose, so. Put that in there the wires. You got brown on the outside, black to the inside. Down there on that brightness, looks like there's three wires on it. I'll have to take him loose. That's one's coming up to this piece. Purple and blue and gray. So let me see if I can get this pulled out of here. I'll bring you back. Well, I got it out and I got the three pins soldered back. Looks like a pretty good job. I'm happy with that. So I've never soldered electronic circuit boards before. It actually turned out kind of factory looking. So I guess let me get this put back together. The screws do have to go in from the front. They've got access holes cut here. So, first piece back in, the case is empty. I'll uh, stick it all back together and hope it works.
got nothing. So, I'm going to go read up on the book and see if I can figure out anything, how to test this, uh, see if I'm getting output or if i got a wire problem over here or what the deal is. Uh, pretty sure I put it all back like it was, but I've got nothing coming over here. Could have been I damaged the contrast knob in the process of prying the front off of it. I uh, didn't think so, but maybe that's where the problem's always been with this. Is if pull around with the knob to get it to come on. So uh, I have to check into some more. Well, I fooled with the monitor connection on this thing and I got it to read again. But my problem now is the vertical holds apparently messed up and I can't find any adjustment on the circuit board in here for a vertical hold. So I don't know how to fix this. If anybody out there is familiar with these and can tell me what I need to do here to get this fixed, uh, at least I got, I've got a screen again so I can get a readout. It's kind of hard to see though when it's flashing. But uh, I don't know what else to do for it. I said, I've tried all the adjustments that are in here, but uh, none of them have an effect on the vertical hold. So, the contrast is working. So, fix one problem, create a new one. I love electronics. One thing I can say about this is it's a very well made piece. I like how it's put together, the screws and everything. It's all rigid, well constructed, not some snap together plastic thing like you see mostly nowadays. But it's giving me problems. I'm gonna have to do something about it. Uh, I got the scales working, and uh, this was being an intermittent problem, so I decided to fix it. And I guess I fixed it good now because it doesn't work at all, pretty much. Uh, with the screen not tracking right, and I don't know how to adjust it. Let me get you a closer look here. There is the, what I would call driver card for the monitor. And it's got some adjusting pots on there, but none of them will correct the issue. And then there's a brightness and contrast over here that don't seem to do anything when I adjust them. And there's a connector down there that I fixed that was causing it to lot, not light up at all. And then the, the big cable card is I guess where the input data comes from. From the motherboard and goes to well, if anybody can tell me what to look for on this to fix it, I would certainly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later. Bailey's dissatisfied. He doesn't like that it's not fixed.